If you use an Android smartphone, then you need to hear this, and you're going to need to hear it now. Starting yesterday, July 7th, 2025, Google quietly rolled out a change that allows its Gemini AI engine to access your third-party applications like WhatsApp, Messages, and even your phone app. And here's the kicker. Even if you thought you had your privacy settings locked down, Google's new update might have even overridden your previous choices. This is not good news for privacy, and Google's communication about it has been incredibly confusing. So stick with me, because I'm going to show you exactly how to wrestle back control of your data and block Gemini from peeking into your apps. Let's make one thing clear. This is not an opt-in feature. Google says this change, quote, will automatically start rolling out, end quote, and it will give Gemini access, quote, whether your Gemini app's activity is on or off, end quote. So think about that for a second. Even if you have been diligent about your privacy, Google has essentially just flipped a switch on their end. And the email that they sent out supposedly informing user was a masterclass in confusion. It provided absolutely no useful guidance on how to prevent this. In one breath, it says your previous settings will be overridden, but in another, it contradicts itself by saying if features were off, then they will stay off. It's almost like they don't want you to fully understand how to disable this. Compounding this, Google has also confirmed that human reviewers, including service providers, can read, annotate, and process the data that Gemini accesses. And yes, you heard that right. Human eyes are on your app data if Gemini gets its hooks in. This is something that we actually already knew but if we've taken the steps to disable access, then that should not be overridden by them or anyone else. So, what can you actually do to stop this digital invasion right now? Don't worry. Despite Google's confusing messages, there are steps that you can take. This is what you need to do right now. First, you're going to want to open up the Gemini mobile application on your Android device. Once you are in this app, look for your profile image in the top right corner, or it could be showing your initials. And then we're going to go ahead and tap on that. And from this menu that pops up, you're going to want to find and select the Gemini apps activity option. This is going to take you to a web page within the app or within a browser. And on this Gemini apps activity page, you're going to see a toggle here. You're going to make sure that this toggle is turned off, not that you see the words turn off. Because if you look right here, it's going to tell you that Gemini apps activity is saving that activity but we can turn it off by tapping on that and then either choosing turn off or turn off and delete activity, your choice. You'll know that you have disabled this correctly when you see the button here labeled turn on. As this is your primary shield against ongoing data collection and interaction with your apps. You can also access this page directly by visiting myactivity.google.com slash product slash Gemini. Just make sure that you are logged in to the correct Google account. And I can have that link down in the video description below as well as the pinned comment here so that it's easy for everyone to find. Now, an important side note, within the Gemini app, in that menu that you saw from tapping on your profile image, 
you're probably going to find a separate apps section under your profile. This is going to list individual apps like WhatsApp, messages, phone. So while turning off Gemini apps activity should disable these like you're seeing here, it's a good idea to go into this apps section and manually toggle off access for any specific app that you absolutely do not want Gemini touching. And if you need to, you can go in and re-enable the feature that we just turned off so that you actually have access to disable these apps. That way, just in case that other toggle gets enabled by accident or it gets enabled by Google again, then these individual toggles will still stay disabled. So you won't have Gemini gaining access to those. Sadly, there's a critical detail that Google isn't making very obvious. Even after turning off Gemini apps activity, your conversations and interactions with Gemini will be saved for up to 72 hours. Google says this is for, quote, safety and feedback, end quote. But it means there is a window where your data is still retained, even if it's not supposedly linked to your account for AI training. So if you want to tr be truly proactive about your privacy, you're going to want to manually delete your activity from this Gemini apps activity page every 72 hours or whenever you feel it is necessary. You're just going to want to look for the option to delete activity by the last hour or the last day or a custom range on this specific page. This change feels less like a helpful opt-in feature and more like a default integration that users have to actively fight against. It brings up serious concerns about user control and data privacy, especially when human reviewers are involved. Google claims this is, quote, good for users, end quote, by allowing Gemini to complete tasks like sending messages, or making calls even with Gemini apps activity turned off. But for a significant number of folks within the community, this level of automatic access is precisely what we do not want. The lack of clear, unambiguous opt-out instructions just adds to the already frustrating situation. This whole ordeal reminds many privacy advocates of past battles like when Microsoft bundled Internet Explorer into Windows, a move that led to major antitrust lawsuits. So the question remains, is Google potentially heading down a similar path by integrating Gemini so deeply and confusingly into Android? To recap, Google's Gemini AI is now gaining automatic access to your third-party apps on Android, potentially overriding your previous privacy settings. It's confusing, it involves human review, and your data is saved for at least 72 hours, even if you turn the feature off. So don't forget that you'll want to open up the Gemini app, tap on your profile picture, dive into the Gemini Apps activity page, and then click on that turn off button. You may even want to consider regularly deleting your past activity from here as well. Your privacy on Android just got a new challenge. And I'm curious to hear if you received this confusing email from Google as well, and whether or not that left you feeling concerned. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below as this is a conversation we all need to be having. And if you found this video crucial for protecting your digital privacy, please give it a like to help spread the word to more people within the Android community. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel too, if you haven't done so already.